Okay. The following video documents my journey coming from the United States and deciding to pursue a bachelor's degree in artificial intelligence in the country of the Netherlands. This video is primarily made up of footage that I took during my first two weeks of living here, and it's supposed to document the experience of an international student moving to a new city or country or continent and experiencing a week of Dutch orientation. That's basically it. Enjoy. Okay, so it is the last day that I am in the United States. I'm leaving my home in a couple hours. I just said goodbye to my cat. It is currently 10.26 a.m. I got up around an hour ago, um, got ready. Most of my time was spent repacking my very large suitcase to be under 50 pounds. So note that if you're flying with a very large suitcase, um, they're probably going to charge you overage fees if it's over 50 pounds. So we're going to Montreal, Canada, and uh, I got tickets for an art museum there, and it has a very interesting and relevant exhibit on um, the future of technology, and it's called Hume, Hume, parentheses, AI, N. And since I'm an AI major, that's, like, perfect for me. So I'm going with that to my parents, and then we're going to go out to eat, I'm going to go to sleep, and then I'm going to spend all day at the airport on Saturday because my flight doesn't leave until 6.50. Um, yeah, update over. So I have made it to the airport. It is currently 14.37, so like 2.40. Um, and now I'm just waiting. My flight does not leave until um, 6.40, and it doesn't start boarding until 6.50, uh, so I have around four hours. Watch some movies. Um, I put out a notice to literally everyone that I know that if they want a video chatting before I leave, now is the time to do it. I got here four hours early, so that means that I was allowed to get the charger thing, so that's great. I'm gonna stop vlogging now because people are looking at me. Okay, bye. I just went through customs. It was really easy. They asked me for my passport and what I was doing, where I was going, and then they let me through. So now I'm going to go pick up my luggage. Also, my uh, camera died, so I'm recording on my phone, but update, made it to the Netherlands. Let's go. So after making my way to the Amsterdam train station, I took around an hour and a half train ride to the city of Nijmegen. I could actually see my apartment right outside the door, but then we took this little shuttle with all of my suitcase put in that little white box at the back of the bus, and we went into the Eleanor Ostrom Sports Center. Registration wasn't that bad because I got there very early. Thank you, 7.30 a.m. flight arrival time. So I didn't have to wait in line too long. I met a lot of people, caught up with a friend who I've been chatting with at a group chat, and eventually I got my key and waited for a shuttle to take me back to Talia with my suitcases in tow. I made it to Talia. I am alone. 
I am going to my room. That's that's it for the update. There is a very nice garden. Um, and my room should be somewhere down there. Let's go! Well, past Clara didn't really do me a favor and actually decide to record my new room, so I will insert pictures here, here, and here. Um, it was very nice, very bare bones. I did not sign up for the cutlery or linen package that SSH offers you, but that wasn't too bad because both of my roommates signed up for the cutlery package, so at least I got to leech their forks for at least the first few days before we went to Hema and actually bought them. Thank you, Kian and Arti. For the first night, I didn't actually have any time to buy any bedding, unfortunately, because by the time that our intro group made it to the city center, it was well past closing time, so I was stuck sleeping on um, a sheetless bed with a comforter for the first night, but luckily that problem was solved as I found a small bit of time in the morning on the next day to buy sheets and bedding and everything that I needed. After going through this experience, I would personally recommend that maybe you arrive in Nijmegen a couple of days early, but I would also say that arriving right on the start of orientation really just does make the entire experience much more exciting and novel. The first piece of footage that I have that's actually from the orientation week is I think from the second or maybe even third day. But this day was mostly spent walking around the city, exploring the sites, completing very strange challenges which required us asking complete strangers to draw on our faces or other strange and random activities. Going through the shared experience of giving fake parking tickets to Teslas and unfortunately dabbing in the direct center of a public park really just made us closer as friends and human beings. The day ended with a barbecue at one of our mentor dad's house and finally wrapped up with a campfire on the beach where we could see the skyline and city lights of our city for the first time. Day four was a bit more chill and mostly required us to meet and socialize with some of the committees of our study association for artificial intelligence named Komiak. After meeting with all of those committees, we completed an activity where we basically made the schedule of all three years and wrote down the purpose of the course and the name of the professor. After that, we went to yet another barbecue in preparation for a cantus. To explain what a cantus is, is is going to require some amount of explanation that I honestly don't feel qualified to give, but basically, we all piled into one pub in the city and watched as a man in a fancy suit told us to sing songs and judged us when we all couldn't do it. After the Cantus, I went back to my apartment, freshed up, and turned 18 years old while standing in line for a nightclub. By the end of the night, I was very sweaty, very gross, but generally had a very good time. Most of the things surrounding the intro festival unfortunately required very, very long wait times as this was not only the AI program but really the entire first year program and their mentors. So after waiting in line for the buses, we then waited in line at this German monastery place and dropped our stuff at, at where we were going to be sleeping. They weren't the best sleeping arrangements but they certainly could have been worse. and. Having our tent in the far corner where there was shade at least meant that it didn't get too hot during the day. I won't narrate the whole intro fest, but I will say that it was, while very hot and very hectic, a lot of fun. And really, you could do with it what you like. If you still had some party in you after the whole week of it, back in Nijmegen, you, there were certainly opportunities to get that on all day long. But if you were like me and exhausted by the second day, you could just stay in a tent and play board games with your newfound friends. After two long days of drinking and partying and playing board games and getting sunburned, we eventually went home, and that marked the end of the intro festival. It was actually a bit of a shock, because after having an entire week planned of activities, I realized that I didn't have to do anything, there was no thing that I had to get up for. So the next week was spent 
furnishing my apartment, getting all of the random things that I definitely didn't have time to during orientation week, and just generally exploring the city and getting to know this place that I would call home for the next three years. Hello everyone, impromptu conclusion to this move-in intro week video vlog thing. Uh, it is Saturday, August 31st, and I have been here for almost exactly two weeks. Um, and life is good, frankly. I just went out for brunch um, with another AI student. I've met a lot of people since I've been here. I am adjusting very well. Um, yeah, I think that the intro week, while very exhausting, and I did get sick, which it took me a week to get over, um, it introduced me to a lot of people and let me know about like a lot of things in the study activities, and generally just made the like transition like really intense, but then once I got through that, then it was pretty good. My room is much less of a half shell of a living space, luckily, so that's good. Um, I definitely feel more at home. I have the windows open. The weather has been strangely beautiful, but it rained once or maybe twice while I was here, and other than that, it's been almost too warm at some places, but today has been beautiful. I have a bike. I have... A room, I have a social life, and I have school starting in exactly two days. Monday, September 2nd. So, yeah. This, I hope that this vlog was helpful to any prospective students or students who have applied and got in, um, as I know that a lot of vlogs were helpful to me when I was applying and then getting ready to move. Um, which is my main reasoning for just making these, is because you want to see vlogs that are relevant to you, so for me there weren't any AI student vlogs, and there were some international vlogs, but um, not really from America, so I just wanted to like put my face and uh, sort of stories out there, so then someone who's like moving from Canada, or moving from the States, or wanting to go into the AI program can have like a more specific view into what the intro week looks like and what everything else looks like. That's, I mean, basically it. There's not really much more for me to say other than, like, life definitely, you definitely adjust and life gets easier as you think. Like, I made my way to Plan 44 today without needing to open Google Maps. I know my way to the city center and I know my way to school. Um, yeah, like I'm slowly learning the city and learning my routines and learning um, a lot of things and school hasn't even started yet and then I'm gonna be learning actual academic things. So yeah, welcome to college, frankly. Excited to see how the rest of this year turns out. Wonderful. Okay, this is me signing off. Thank you so much for watching the insane amount of footage that I took last week. And yeah, it's a good time.